Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's so great to have you back. I am so excited, you guys, to have you here with me. How are you feeling? How are you doing? I hope you guys are feeling fantastic, my loves. Yes, we are here for another pick a card reading. I am beyond, beyond excited, you guys, to have you present. Yes. My loves, this is going to be a pick a card based on how is your person feeling? How are they doing? Okay, we're going to go ahead and connect to see what their next move is, what's going on with both of you. And we are going to reach a prediction, you guys. I'm so, so excited. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you know my videos are uploaded, you guys. Yes, my loves. We are present. This is cancer season. So I am beyond excited, you guys, to have you present, to have you here. Yes, I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded, you guys. Also, let me know how you're feeling. Let me know how you're doing, you guys. Okay, so I'm praying for your manifestation. I'm praying for your well-being, you guys, and I'm praying that all of you feel centered, that all of you feel grounded during this time. So I also want to just tell you, I cannot believe you guys, you are here. Listen, I just want to say thank you so much to all of you who have donated. Um, I will be picking some stuff up from the post office very soon this week, so thank you. Skylar, thank you for your generous donation. It means the world to me. I am so, so grateful, you guys. And I also want to just give a big shout out to my Cancers during this time, my Cancerians. Yes, you guys. I hope that this is a wonderful season for the collective, and I also want to just touch base and let you know I do have new services coming up. I have them all down below. I do have all my links, my loves. I have my donation links. I have my cash app. I have my PayPal. I have my Indie Deck wish list. I have my Amazon wish list, and I have what else, you guys, am I missing? My Venmo, okay? So I do just want to say thank you again. Yes, you guys. I am so, 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 so in deep gratitude. Okay, so I wanted to do a little clearing session for you guys. So let's go ahead and just, one of my favorite... Okay, just a little bit of an iris here. You do not have to stay here for um, this clearing, you guys. I am a Reiki practitioner, okay? I do use traditional symbols. Okay. I do crystal healing, you guys. I also work with the angels. So definitely a frequency um, that would be possibly something that you're open to. Okay, just close your eyes, you guys. Just a little bit 
one of my favorite, one of my favorite flowers, you guys. It brings faith, it brings hope, fertility, creation, abundance. So as we go ahead and move through, how's your person feeling? Okay. I'm just going to start off our reading with a clear mind, hopefully with a clear heart. Okay. Wow, you guys, let me know how that feels for you. I hope it's amazing, okay? Also, I just want to let you know this is not traditional Reiki. Please definitely get certified, you guys. Okay, it's really important to honor an attunement. I've been looking into an Egyptian attunement, but I'm not too sure yet. Crystal Reiki is perfect, you guys. If you need a referral, I have a few. If you know of anyone who works with Egyptian attunement, please uh, email me. Okay. Wajet, you guys, there's something around the water serpent during this time. Really working on your relationships, okay? There's a serious, serious amount of healing, a master healer. My spirit guides are showing me something around a master healer, master healing, okay? So, of course, you do not have to stay here if you do not feel guided. Of course, you can move forward to the piles, you guys. I absolutely adore you, Saturn, my loves. We are facing restrictions around our love life. Okay, boundaries, limits, learning experiences. Okay, let's go ahead and get the decks up. Also, if you guys are feeling extra generous and would like to donate, I do have my cash app below, you guys. I have my Indie Deck wish list, I have my Amazon wish list, and I have my PayPal. So, listen, you guys, please take a look at my um, Insta. I have testimonials, reviews. I do have a brand new Reiki healing giveaway session going on. I think I just said that. I have a bunch of no, new cool stuff coming up. Okay, I have new services. I have complimentary healing sessions via story. Okay, and much, much more. Please don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you. I want to hear how you're feeling, how you're doing. Always in love with you guys. Always in love with the process of your journey. Okay, we're just going to do a little bit, you guys. There's been a lot of interferences here. Just a little. <laughs> Working on getting a new phone for us so we become more clear, right? We become more clear in paradise here. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. How's your person feeling, you guys? How is everything manifesting in your favor? Do they care? What are their intentions during this time? Okay, so the first pile is a deck that I purchased with our donations. Okay, um, so of course, um, collecting the coins, I went ahead and purchased this wonderful deck. For us, the white Newman tarot, and the third pile is the modern witch tarot, okay? So go ahead and take a deep breath.
Okay, think about your relationship, you guys. Think about your person. Think about how they're feeling, how they're doing. Okay, let's see what is going on here. All right, my loves, pile on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's happening for you. Okay. Listen, pile one, I am having a vision of a beautiful, beautiful, ancient, ancient totem of a turtle here. Okay, the turtle, ancient, wise, it speaks of movement that is slow but prosperous. This relationship, you guys, there's a lot of wealth here, okay? I do see wealth in spirit, wealth in body, wealth in health, wealth in love, okay? So let's see what's going on, you guys. Pile one. Listen, someone here, you are dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo. I am sensing a Cancer for some of you. Okay? For others, there's a Scorpio, a Pisces. Okay, my loves. Listen, this relationship endures. Okay, this relationship is very wise. Okay, there's something about this love that feels nostalgic or something that you keep going back to, you tend to pull away. You tend to pull away. A lot of you guys tend to come back to this person, okay? Listen, your person has been weaving something new for you. They're weaving something around black thread or almost reminds me of a rue or something around um, a very ancient protective herb, you guys. It's Egyptian. It's really powerful. Okay. Uh, you know, I had this, excuse me, there's just a lot going on here. I had this really important, really, really powerful powerful meditation with my ancestors and something around your love must remain private and it's not so much about it being a relationship that's unrequited or that it's um, unworthy of limelight okay it's not so much that it is um, disconnected from your soul purpose you guys but it is the lack of honor okay it is the lack of honor the lack of respect so I was it was interesting you guys really very much in alignment with um, your relationship right now I had this beautiful meditation about privacy and working with this really powerful, powerful black herb, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and link it below. And it's perfect for shielding, okay? You're protecting your psychic energy while you're connected to your partners or while you are working, okay? A lot of you, whenever I see a love that is symbol symbolic of a turtle, okay, or the spirit of the turtle, it really requires endurance, Okay, so some of you guys are very, very gentle spirits. You have the power of water, so you flow. You tend to kind of take things one step at a time, or you really move with the flow. Okay, you tend to um, take your time in love, but it is the invasion of others, it is the gossip of others, it is the actual penetration 
of their mind or some of you are dealing with people who really need to know your thoughts they need to know what it is that you're feeling what's going on in your head and they forget that you are vessels of light something about this relationship it really inspires the collective to come around you they need to know what you're thinking what's going on with you and listen guys this relationship was meant for an ascension a lot of you are dealing with a twin flame okay you're dealing with a twin flame you are dealing with um, a beloved who you were meant to ascend with okay so your gentleness, your femininity, your ability to speak softly or feminine, it's very, very alluring, okay? So you have people around you, okay? There's, there's, this, um, there's this pull here, okay? So this is a twin flame for you, my love, sir. I believe this is a soulmate, but I feel strong, strong infinity symbol around your crown. It takes strength. Okay, it takes strength. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Listen, a lot of you, there's something around a geographical distance as well. This is powerful, you guys, yes. Listen, you guys. So this is the power of the dragon. We have power and we have legacy here, okay? so. I am sensing, again, the power of your relationship. It's really attractive. It pulls in people or it pulls in lessons, karmic lessons for a lot of you. I don't know why I'm sensing, um, uh, what's that saying, you guys? Uh, the moths are attracted by your light. Okay, someone comment below. You are water. Your person is fire. Okay, so we do have a duality here. Okay, we do have a very opposing energy around. Both of you guys are very, very opposites right now, my loves, but you, specifically you, my loves, you are transitioning. You are in a full 5D ascension. I can feel it. It's like my hand really kind of floats up, okay? Your person is still working through their shadow work. They're kind of in the middle here. A lot of you, listen, you guys, your fifth house is active here. I do see your seventh house. This person is a potential um, soul partner, or they are a potential, um, you know, person that you're dealing with a lot of people, something around a lot of people here, you guys. Okay. A lot of you guys, listen, your love is constantly pulled by the ebbs and flows of the water of the river. There's something around this relationship that kind of washes ashore, and once you think you have it down, it kind of goes back into the water, or kind of merges right back out. Okay. So let's see what is going on here. Yes, you guys, listen, this relationship is really, really flowing. It's moving. Your person, your ascension process, you guys, they are really symbolic, okay, of transformation here. Okay, something around honoring your home, you guys. Please honor your home with a little bit of this black herb or something that I will go ahead and link it below you guys okay it's protective for your love your ancestors want you to go ahead and reflect about this relationship okay something about this love will bring you higher or there's a pedestal here or there's something that's going to kind of bring you to arise, but your person is still reaching for darkness, you guys. I'm having a vision of someone who's still kind of reaching for their past. Okay, so let's see, you guys. Yes, look at these greens, my loves. Listen, this person, 
they really really activate a lot of your heart chakra energy okay look at this green you guys tap in your spirit we have generous energy okay there's so much here around activation okay some of you this person really needs you right now okay or i feel something about this love is imbalanced your person may be healing from a current disconnection they may be healing from something that has really kind of you know removed them from their peace you guys okay but it almost seems as if a lot of you have a very healthy balanced life right now Okay, and your person is really searching for your comfort or your love. Wow, you guys. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. This person is very, very, very stoic, but they're strong. They're grounded. Okay, they are very sure of you, but they stay or they remain at a distance. We have a Capricorn, a Taurus, Virgo, you guys. I, I do feel they're familiar with you. They on a soul resonance, they know it's you, you guys. But something about this love right now feels a bit threatening, okay? It seems as if they get close, they watch to see what you're doing, they see what's going on. Okay, and then it's, it's almost as if a dance, they come right back, okay? They take a step back. So what's going on here? Yes, you guys, we do have overcoming adversity as well. Look at these colors. This is all about growth, you guys. Both of you are in the field of service or both of you are in the field of um, recognition. Okay, but you are a healer. A lot of you, my loves, you are a Mary Magdalene or you're walking with an ascended master of Kwan Yin here. We have forgiveness, we have love, we have this beautiful beautiful activation around creation, fertility. A lot of you may be a mother or this person may want children with you during this time, okay? Listen, this person is feeling enlightened by you. The 19th, okay? Okay, so let's see here, you guys. Listen, your person is... If they're not an earth sign, you guys, I am getting an Aries, a Leo, a Sag. Listen, for a lot of you, this person, okay? Something about your aesthetic, your hair, they know you're strong or they know that you are worthy of their love or that they're worthy of your love. Okay, they play the drums, my loves, they play the drums in your honor, in ritual, okay? Some of you, they may be um, in a band or they're working with instruments here, but I do feel a lot of them, their ancestors are really recognizing who you are during this time. So let's see, what is the center theme for you? Yes, my loves, here we have this stoic, very strong. We have a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, it reminds me of, um, I can't, I don't know why I'm channeling the song, you guys. I can't help but wait. Da -da -da. Okay, this person is actively watching. They feel unfulfilled in their life right now, you guys, for a lot of you. Something about your most recent success last week. A lot of you are wearing your crown. They can see your uraeus, you guys. So you guys are really, uh, really connected to mother. You are, a, you know, creative. You are fertility or the cosmic egg here. Okay, so something about this love right now, you guys, this person feels as if all or nothing. It's my way or the highway. So something about most recent success, they've taken a step back, okay? 
naturally the king of pentacles my loves they are not naturally very giving okay this person feels as if something has come to a halt your ancestors have been carving new territory okay something around their decision you guys two days ago two weeks ago it, it seems as if it disconnected both of you Okay, this person is resentful. Some of you have to be very honest. There's something around resentment here. Okay, so how is this person feeling? Let's see, you guys. How is this person feeling? Yeah, listen. Some of you may have shared some wisdom here with a friend, someone who's a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This was leaked or it was shared to this person, and I do feel they are now um, kind of, you know, really taking focus or uh, noticing other options, okay? There's something about this person, you guys, I have to be very honest, they're not used to loving from a place of heart, they're used to loving from a place of the glam, okay? This person is used to loving from a place of, look at how many options I have, okay? I look great, I'm a magician, okay? But your love, listen, this is your twin, girl, listen. Okay, you know, more than anyone, you know that their love is very, very profound, okay? Someone here has a Venus in Virgo or a Venus in Scorpio, okay? They feel as if they keep dreaming about you. Something about your love is, um, it, it's unreachable or it's out of the ordinary. You really stand out. However, they have to show you that they have other options. They have to show you that, you know, there's more here. Okay. So how are they feeling? Let's see, guys. Listen, someone here, um, there is something around a fire, okay? I'm having a vision of rituals and fire. So someone here has been doing spell work on the other. Okay, or there's something around some kind of ritual work to keep the other bound or to keep them, you know, coming back. Your person is really at odds with themselves, you guys, okay? something around their esteem and finances during this time they feel um get it reminds me of that song what's that song you guys get me higher by <laughs> reminds me get me higher by um comment below you guys it starts with an s okay so let's see how are they feeling you guys Yes, listen, they know, okay, listen, you guys, this person knows you are their destiny, oh, they know it, okay, they know the way the wheel kind of shifts and it moves during its seasons, the way it really kind of aligns both of you, they know, you guys, okay, but I have to be very honest, this person is wondering who else you belong to, I don't know, this person's so protective of your kingdom, they're protective of your love, they're protective of um, your ancient power. Your ancestors are showing you, you guys, how to create space so you can also grow in terms of your spirit. This person needs guidance in terms of their divine feminine. I do see for a lot of them, they tend to kind of focus on their tribe, not so much of their res receptivity and love or their ability to receive, okay? So let's see what's going on here. How are they feeling? Listen, this person feels slighted, okay? Something around what was said above their crown, okay? Something around what was said around their crown. Okay, someone here shared something with this person. Okay, this person has wealth or they're in a position of power. There's an obsession of kind of um, 
something about telling this person, your beloved, your twin, um, giving this, them this information would give them more power. So they, they kind of shared something they shouldn't have, okay? This is coming from a Libra, you guys, or an air sign. I also see a Pisces here. Okay? So they're feeling, listen, your love, okay? Your love is an ultimatum. It's all or nothing here. Okay, this person is really set on it's all or nothing. They want you to know that they do see marriage with you. They see the keys with you. They see a future with you, but there's something about this connection, you guys. There is a private ritual for some of you. They're into sorcery or they're doing something for a living that's um, a private kind of sacrifice or ritual, okay? They also want to share something, wisdom from their ancestors. But right now, listen. A lot of you, this person is carrying the ball and chain, you guys. They are still healing from their karmic lesson. Something happened in September, my loves. They're waiting for you. This person, I have to be very honest, you're dealing with a masculine that will not, they will not pick up the phone to call you. Okay, it's, it's through mastery. Something around mastery or steps. The hierarchy of power. Okay? or the ability to kind of level up with you. They take their time, you guys. Okay? So they're feeling as if you are the one, or there's something about your love that they want to overpower. Okay, they want to overpower you, or they want to understand, um, you know, why you did what you did, why things have happened the way they have happened. So right now they're feeling... In isolation, some of you, they're, they're really in this, a state of solitude, of meditation, of practice. Okay? So, let's see here, you guys. What is the outcome, my loves? Yes, you guys, we have death. Listen, your person, even as I was channeling, there's something a bit lukewarm about their energy, you guys. Okay? There's something a bit disconnected from their heart. And a big part of it is they're mastering a spiritual pursuit. Religion could be in the way, you guys. Differences in age or power. This could be a boss or someone who is kind of commanding attention in the room. They have some kind of power over the masses. They know that being with you is going to take time or it's going to take specific steps, okay? So right now, the death card, you guys, it's, I do feel there's a transition here. I'm also having a vision of a gold ring with a number 25, okay? This person is coming towards you and sharing something very, very um, forward. It's going to be work-related, you guys. This person is um, learning how to love, but before love, they, they like to kind of uh, put some kind of wealth on the table or a contract on the table, okay? So the 25th of this month, they want to, you know, transition, okay? There's something around this love they want to kind of move ahead, but it's got to be on their terms, something around my way or the highway, okay? So what is your advice, my loves? Listen, this is equivalent to Archangel um, Azrael or Raziel. There's a lesson here. There's mastery for both of you. Twin flame relationships never die, you guys. The love never dies unless someone chooses to disconnect completely, okay? So let's see here, you guys. What is the outcome? Let's see, you guys. <clears throat> yes, you guys, we have a page of wands. Okay. So listen, okay. 
both of you guys, this person wants children, or they want a child, they want a son with you, it reminds me of Salem, I think I quoted this, this movie, it was fabulous, okay, I want you guys to watch it, it's really great, it has to do with, um, her being, you know, a powerful witch, you guys, so someone here is into sorcery, and her really loving her husband, okay, her true husband, her twin flame, and her son was the only thing that could destroy her, or the only thing that could really instill fear, okay, so it's, it's really a fabulous show, you guys, I want you guys to watch it, and the outcome, there's a new adventure here, this person really wants to start anew with you at the end of the month, okay? But listen, some of you are walking with a familiar. You may have a cat, you may have a dog, or you have something here, okay? This could be some kind of pet ally, okay? This person is guiding you to make the best decision possible because I do see they have the power of group something around the power of network so they can kind of turn your destiny or they can turn something very important for you okay so if you guys allow this person there's something around a turn of the wheel so be careful for that your ancestors do not want that to be tampered with okay i do see communication for you guys at the end of the month so yes my loves i love it okay let's move on here Okay. Okay, pile two. Let's see what's going on for you, shall we? Okay, pile two. Some of you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius. This person is ardent. They are so in love with you. Okay? There's something really, really fascinating about this person. They really stand out. They really, really are enlightened by you. I'm getting a lot of poetry. I'm getting lyrics. I'm getting adventure. Okay? Lesson pile two. This person is really, really intensely at Leo, Aries. They are obsessed with you. Someone here has been thinking about the other for quite some time. The number three here, there's a distance of three months, three weeks. Something happened about three months ago, three weeks. Okay. I'm also seeing a Pisces, you guys, or... I do see someone here who is a triple Aquarius. Okay. Forgiveness, my loves, especially if you are a Leo Sag Aries. We have intoxication and supper in reverse. Yes, you guys. Someone here is really nostalgic about you. This person is really bound by territory. Okay, I'm having a vision of branches growing around a tree of life, branches growing around a home space, you guys. Okay? There's something really beautiful here involving a home environment. Okay, so this is someone who had a home, okay, or they risked something here with you, or they risked um, a situation most recently color purple, listen you guys, whenever I see the color purple, there's an activation here of Metatron, so we have a very powerful um, karmic lesson, okay, there's something around an activation for both of you, this person wants you back, you guys, okay, there is a very, very strong cord, even as I leaned, it almost pulled me to the side, this person has not forgotten about you, okay? This person is actively thinking about you guys. Let's look at the transformation. Something about this love is codependent, you guys, or something about this love feels a bit karmic, so it's teaching you how to ascend. It kind of weighs a little bit heavy, you guys, so 
it's it's definitely out outside of the norm we have the 11th house you met this person outside of their their normality or something is different here okay something's different around your uh, career paths your beliefs okay so let's see what's happening here we have 72 we have solitude and diligence okay look how grounded this relationship is you guys this is a really intense connection you promised me i am having a vision of the full moon here the sensuality and the power that both of you guys really inspire around you is tenfold okay something about this love really pulls in wealth it pulls in a transformation it also reminds me of pluto okay so whenever i see uh, metatron Okay, I also see the power of renewal, the power of regeneration, and also the gift of prophecy, you guys. This person is a catalyst to your spirituality for a lot of you. Okay. So let's see, my loves. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's see what's happening. Yes, you guys. So what's going on with this connection? Listen, this person, both of you guys are mirroring something around mother here. Okay? So I do see there's a missing mother or a missing parent. Okay? There's something around the absence. Okay? The absence of being able to receive love. Both of you are mirroring this aspect, okay? And you both work this out with each other, you guys, with the number seven here, okay? Something is, it's really different. You can kind of sit there in silence with this person and they understand you, okay? So let's see, you guys, general theme here. Yes, we have religious factors. There's an Aquarian influence here, you guys. There's a strong Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Something around your crown, okay? A lot of you come from a different culture or a different background. You come from a different space, okay? But they love that you're different. They love that you are constantly looking at the stars. You are constantly in the state of faith or hope. Okay, a lot of you may feel really enlightened during this time with this person. Both of you made a promise to each other, okay, around the 8th, or the number 8 is prominent here. Okay, there's a promise here to come back to each other or to try to make it work. Some of you, this person does not believe in light relationships, okay? So... There is nothing light about this person. They believe it's all or nothing here, you guys. This is someone who is ruled by the moon, okay? For others, both of you guys have past lives around power and religion, okay? Differences in age, perhaps. I feel this is more around your beliefs around family, your core beliefs, okay? Something has really been overdone here, you guys. This transformation, I have to really take a moment here for this energy. Some of you may feel as if this person disconnected from you unfairly, okay? Or they come in and out of your life when they, when they choose. Okay, so let's see what's going on here, my loves. Let's see what's going on. How are they feeling? Yes, listen. Someone here was caught. Okay, there's something around being caught, you guys. I see, listen, there's a red dragon here. Something that's really powerful around your love. Okay, this love requires honesty, you guys, with the number four, four here. Without honesty, both of you will not move forward. 
okay? Something, listen, the red dragon is really powerful. The element of fire, okay? It does well in terms of the transformation of constantly changing, but deception is not easily received or forgiven, okay? This is not something that's forgiven easily, you guys. This person feels as if they have a clear mind about something right now, or you do. There's a need for distance right now, okay? Listen, a lot of you, you are removing old layers. There's sacrifice here around your past life. Okay, this person was a partner in your most recent in incarnation, you guys. We do have stay optimistic. Okay, this person was someone who was very familiar to you in terms of devotion. Some kind of worship here. So both of you guys worked with deities or you worked um, something around kind of crafting or building temples, you guys. Okay, there's nothing light about your relationship. It was always profound. It was always moving. Or it was always really, really um, surrounding, surrounding beauty, aesthetic. Okay, both of you were married in this most recent incarnation. Okay, so there's a familiarity on a soul level, you guys. There's something around soul recognition for both of you. Okay, so what's going on here? How's your person feeling, pile two? Listen, you guys, there's something around the color blue here. It's actually really beautiful. There's this very intense blue aura that's emanating truth, wisdom. We have not. Listen, my loves, this relationship, both of you cannot deceive each other without some kind of intense karma, okay? There is no way to be in this relationship and to deceive because of the power that it holds, the power of the ancients, the power of the elders. You see how there's purple here, there's purple there, okay? There's prestige here, there's royalty here. Both of you always believed in um, keeping your life private or keeping it within okay, within its limits. Listen, you guys, I'm having a vision of the scorpion totem here. There's something around a scorpion, you guys. This love is easily betrayed, okay, so they know. They worry about betrayal, second house resources. Yes, you guys, we have the hierophant. Listen, your love is a risk. Okay, your love is a risk and they know okay so something around your love they know it would be risking their kin for some it would be risking their community okay this is because of who they are some of you there's political power here or there's some kind of power within their group okay the hierophant you guys is not to be taken lightly although it's a very beautiful card Okay, this person has very fixed values as a father, as a mother. Okay, so we do have someone who's a strong believer in leading through beliefs or philosophies, a teacher. Okay, this person feels as if something about your love, listen, they love your crown, they love your aesthetic, some of you, you still remember your past life, you still remember this love, you still remember being connected, but something around your beliefs, okay? Although you are perfect in other ways, they are discerning about their future and love. They, they kind of remove themselves from this connection because there's a lifestyle here, you guys. They're not in alignment with it or they fear loving um, if it's not within their, their set beliefs, okay? Religion is a thing here, you guys. Okay, it could also just be 
very strict beliefs in terms of dating, okay? This is step one, this is step two, or this is how I want to move, or this is how I want to kind of date. This person has, um, you know, a belief system that also kind of opens portals, or somebody opens some kind of galactic portals here. So they're careful with who they love, okay? They, they know. This could also be an arranged marriage, you guys. Some of you, this person doesn't really believe in a very traditional, loving, um, inward or reflective relationship, but there's something different about you, okay? Yes. So how are they feeling, Kyle, too? So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yes, you guys. Some of you... Um, if you are in a field where you have to be very, very cunning, you have to be sly, or you're, you know, really moving from a place of um, air, you're constantly kind of transforming here. They, they do, it's like a risk. You're like a siren, okay? You are seductive, or there's something about you that's, they fear betrayal with you, okay? They fear that you are um, something around lying about a photo, or you're an imposter of some kind, okay? <laughs> something here, you may be very cruel, or they think you're, you're kind of, um, you're going to cut them off any, any time you, you wish to cut them off, okay? So let's see you guys, how are they feeling? Let's see here. Listen, for a lot of you, they don't feel good enough for you. Okay, we have the past life relationships here at the bottom. Take a look. This person, they see that you are thriving. Okay, a lot of you have a platform. You're, you're sitting up high. You have the sun around your crown. You're vibrant. You shine. You really stand out. But they don't feel good enough. Okay, there's something about your ability to rise. Okay, they feel as if they've had a fall from grace here. Um, am I worthy of your love? Okay, you see, they don't have a shirt on. Okay, this person is, um, they're constantly gambling or they're risking, you guys. They may have lost a major platform or success around fame recognition. So they feel something here is disconnected, okay? Am I worthy of who you are? Am I worthy of your love? Okay. Let's see, you guys. This could also be someone who is, um, they're avoidant because they don't really want to connect in public. They don't want, I, wow. <laughs> Listen, for some of you, they're afraid of public recognition, okay? Uh, they may have a very private life, especially if they're a Scorpio, they keep to themselves. Okay, so how are they feeling? Let's see, you guys. Pile two. Listen, there's this beautiful yellow rope here between both of you. Okay. So you have the magician in reverse, and we have the two of swords in reverse. Excuse me, in the upright. Listen, a lot of you, they see people around you, okay? If you're an air sign or you are a water sign, people are constantly at your feet. They know, okay? They're worried about deception or your mind is really powerful, you guys. Some of you are developing new psychic gifts and they worry about this or they worry about your craft. If you're, you know, into sorcery or you're doing something here that's manipulating energy, but they, they feel as if you lure them in or you pull them into something that they're not ready for, okay? Some of you, my loves, listen, okay? With the two of swords, this person may be a karmic partner. Okay, there's something about this love, it's one foot in, one foot out. Okay, so something about this love is a bit, they feel as if 
you may not be firm in your decisions. You see how she's kind of floating in the water here? Okay, some of you may not make decisions from a place of the mind. Um, it's, it's almost a risk or a gamble with the number two. There's duality, okay? This person saw you with someone else, you guys, or they, they saw someone here give you something with a black uh, bracelet. It's a black ring or a black bracelet in my vision. Okay. Wow, you guys, the temples. You guys, you have a very sacred relationship. It's teaching you a lot about your power. We have the Page of Cups. Yes, you guys. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Wow. Listen, everything about you is, it's a dream. So this is what they're worried about when we have a Hierophant energy, you guys. Okay? They're worried about the consistent back and forth. Some of you, they may judge you harshly. They're kind of like this. Okay, so there's a bit of kind of like an overpowering feeling here of, um, you know, well, I have the keys. <laughs> okay. They love that you're creative. You're constantly flowing like the water, you guys. Some of you, you are very challenging to read and they love this about you. So what's the outcome? Ten days, you guys. This person is coming back to you in 10 days. Some of you, they may already be married, or I don't know why I'm getting a bit of a re restriction, even as I said it. My body kind of, um, instead of flowing forward, it remained. So they may already have a partner here, you guys, or they're trying to make a decision between both of you. Okay. So what is the outcome? So the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yes, you guys. Listen, this person is making a decision in 10 days. I feel they have been blocking your calls, blocking your communication. They're not happy right now. Okay, they don't want, they really don't want to be swayed back into this love. It's very passionate. They know. But something about the same intensity kind of keeps them in a state of the serpent. So it keeps them kind of in this place of temptation, okay? Yes, you guys, so I do see closure. This person may not be ready for a while, you guys, okay? I am seeing a lot of old ties here and wealth that is bound to their sun, so they're rising, you guys. Something is going on with their public life right now, okay? Okay, pile three, let's see what is going on for you. Okay, pile three. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, take a deep breath, you guys. Someone here has not budged. They have not moved. This person, they have not... Wow. Wow. Someone here has not changed or they have not done something. Some of you guys are waiting for this person to make a decision. Okay? Yes, you guys. This is the second time here. We have this wonderful, wonderful activation card. Okay, this is my card of enlightenment, of purpose. There's a lot of power plays here, you guys. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There's an intensity. Okay, there's power around will. My spirit guides are saying power of, around will. I do see serpents circling, excuse me, circling, circulating around each other, orbiting around your crown, you guys. This person is a catalyst to your psychic vision or your psychic power or your faith, okay? So let's see what's going on here, you guys. Pile three. If you are a Sagittarius, if you are a Leo, okay? 
for something really special about this love, you guys. Okay, listen, both of you guys have a very deep past life. This person made a promise to you. Okay, we have an anticipation and excitement in reverse. Okay, these two colors are really powerful. Transmutation of any kind of trauma, okay? Your relationship, you guys, it's based around, um, again, the 40 days of Judean, um, this beautiful, beautiful path, you guys, around enlightenment. Okay, both of you guys are learning how to walk this journey alone. So this transformation feels a bit elusive, or how do you really feel? Do you care? Okay, someone here is asking, do you care? Because I care for you, right? By Leah. Okay, so transformation and love. Yes, you guys. So what's going on with both of you? Listen, your person recently moved around nine months ago, nine weeks ago. Okay, I do see a very strong influence around pregnancy, creativity, or even fertility. Okay, someone here um, was pregnant or there's um, an intention around pregnancy the next four months. This person may be the person you have a child with. Okay, but there's something around gold, okay, the reach for gold or the desire for more, the desire for something that feels unattainable. Okay, so what's going on with this relationship, you guys? Yes, you guys, we have express your love in reverse. Listen, you guys, your person, they have not told you how they feel about you, but it's very deep, you guys, okay? Something around meeting each other or reconciling March 25th or the month of March here, okay? There's a strong lunar influence you guys the full moon is very prominent here listen this person is really really enamored by you but they have not shared this with you they watch you they ask about you okay some of you may have a network of five people okay there's something around five people here or five others okay there's a lot of gossip here your person is very quiet to you guys they something around compromising can we compromise okay they travel often for work take a look you guys okay this person is constantly traveling some of you know that this is your person that you want to spend your life with or this is your next partner your next long-term relationship and they're a bit unsure Okay, this is a new beginning for a lot of you. Okay, I want to share words that I did not share before. Okay, I want to experience your love again. Wow, this person is very poetic, you guys. They are really, really masters here at the evolution they are constantly evolving something around gifting you something here okay they wear gold on both wrists or both hands there's something around gold here around um, their crown you guys or they're really really there's a, a very very intense emphasis here on jewelry okay person recently bought a home or they bought some kind of environment, um, excuse me, some kind of land or the earth here. 
So let's see. How are they feeling? Yes, you guys. Listen, this person. <laughs> wow. Look at this, you guys. Unrequited love. This person really feels an affinity to come towards you. They may not know they have, they're going to have a child with you for some of you, but I do feel there's a bit of some Aquarian influence here. This person is an Aquarius, you guys. They may love the idea of you. It could just be an Aquarius moon. They love the idea of you or, you know, there's something different about you. Okay, they know a lot of people want your time, they want your attention, and a lot of you may not give it to anyone else. So this is about the conquering, okay? They know, but listen, there's a crescent moon here. This person is one foot in, one foot out. We do have religious factors. Yes, you guys, okay? I have to be very honest, you're dealing with someone who is um, into public speaking or seminars, okay? Um, they have a very, very powerful influence with the public. It could just be, you know, they're, they're into sales or they're doing something for a living where people are constantly listening and watching. Okay, so their beliefs are kind of different from yours, you guys. They're not as traditional. Okay, so non-monogamy is a thing here. Okay, so center theme, guys. What is going on for both of you? Listen, you guys, Pluto, yes. This relationship is a catalyst. It is transformation. It's alchemy, you guys. Okay. So we do have the hanged one in reverse. You've changed me, okay? Listen, the affinity is the fact that you are different. This person is attracted to you. I do see bees here. A big part of it has to do with the chatter, people chattering, or they're constantly around you. They want to know what's going on with this person. Um, something about you really shines. Look at this crown, you guys. Okay, you guys, look at the crown. Okay, a lot of you, um, you are teachers. You are gurus or you're teaching. And if you're not teaching, you are just, you radiate, you stand out, you glow, okay? This person likes the idea of you, okay? This person is really in love with the idea of you, you guys. Center theme. Listen, some of you right now, there's something around staying in close proximity. They watch or they're uh, protecting you. They like to protect you when you travel. Okay? Some of you, they like to protect the movement of your life. Okay, an Aries, Leo, Sag. So they usually wait by the bridge or they are symbolism of your protection in this incarnation. Okay, there's something about their love that really protects your wealth and your mind. So we do have the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, we have opportunity, we have success. This person knows that you're different. Something about you is very different and they have to kind of really come to terms with this. Okay, they know. Something, uh, listen you guys, there's a cord here that pulls them right back to the past. They've been on and off with someone here, okay, 10 years or someone with uh, 10 months, the number 10 is prominent. So whenever I see the number 10, you guys, I always think about a relationship that is really founded on mastery or a catalyst to your long-term person. Okay? So listen, they feel as if you are an opportunity. Okay, something about this love will help both of you grow. They're coming out of sacrifice. But they're still hot and cold, you guys. 
This person wants you to know that they mailed you something or um, they gave you something. Okay, they never heard back from you. We have the temperance here. We have Sagittarius shifting and flowing. You are an earth angel, you guys. Okay, everything about your love transmutes. You, you just bring in so much light. Okay, some of you have fame in the books or you're doing something that they absolutely want to get involved in, okay? It could also just be you are being recognized by others highly and they love this about you, okay? They love that you're standing out. They'll never tell you. Okay, there's a lot of pride here, okay? what's going on how are they feeling and what's their next move are they going to come towards you let's see here you guys yes you guys listen a lot of you this person wants to communicate or i feel they, they definitely want um to connect but there's something a bit immature okay there's something a bit youthful young in spirit Okay, they see the potential, but they're afraid of rejection, you guys. They know they, they like to keep the power, especially if they're in Aries, you guys. They keep a distance here. Okay, they want to create with you. They want to kind of bring in something new into the environment. Okay. This person is really intensely aware, okay? Some of you are models, so you're doing something that really makes you float. Something around physically making you float. Okay. You are their sun. You are their sunflower. Okay, you guys are really hardworking. Some of you may work in a field of food and service. You're creating your own business, you guys. Okay. Okay, so the page of pentacles in reverse listen they love the idea of you you are a transformation but some of you they know they cannot idealize your body or they cannot idealize the physique they have to really love your soul you guys okay this person knows so they remain a bit at the periphery they kind of like to take it slow they move away from what is what is safe okay So what's, what's next for you guys? You guys, how's this person feeling? I almost feel as if this person has moments where they feel this spike of energy. They really want to be with you. They communicate with you. Um, they draw you as a flower, okay? But others, okay? There's something about your relationship that... They, they can't really take this serious right now, you guys. They're, they're a bit hesitant. They're still in a player phase, okay? Let's see here. What's their next, or what are their intentions, you guys? Listen, my loves, this person is constantly in motion. Their spirit is outside of their body. Okay, they're constantly moving. So a big part of this, both of you guys may not be ready, okay? Some of you are ready for this person, but they're not ready. Or some of you guys are just here to know how this person is feeling about you. Okay, there's a restlessness. It's all or nothing. It's now or never. The indulgence is the physical. This person really loves to kind of think about your relationship from the senses, but they know, listen, you cannot fool an angel, okay? You cannot fool an earth angel. A lot of you float. You're naturally very divine. You are crowned. You are triumph. They know it. They know that they cannot kind of stoop to this level, okay? The Nine of Cups in reverse, where it's just, you know, we're, we're kind of sobering it up to the physical, 
right? Very basic, very primal, they know. Okay, so it takes a lot to be with you. All right, my loves, they know it. Okay, so let's see. What is the outcome? Listen, the next three days I feel there is a post or there's truth around something they're posting. Okay, it does seem as if there's peach, uh, the color peach and yellow. Pay attention to their words, you guys. Something around their words. They are sharing their feelings. This person is actively showing you signs through specific methods. Okay. I feel a lot of this has to do with where they are. Where I want to be by Donald Jones, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love that song, you guys. So what is the outcome here? Okay, so we have the Six of Cups. Yes, you guys. Listen, this person is constantly living in the past. You remind me of my past. You remind me of my first love. They know, listen, as powerful as your love is, you guys really make this person feel vulnerable. You make them feel as if being with you, okay, really creates a sense of balance or a cleanse. This person isn't ready for this, you guys, but they are planning, okay? This love takes time, okay? So they want to, to give you something or they want to love from a place of um, innocence, okay? Something around innocence here. Okay, so what is the outcome, my loves? Archangel Raphael actively working on your crown, actively working on your ability to forgive, you guys. Someone here, forgiveness is needed. Okay. So the outcome here, listen, some of you have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is standing in the middle of your relationship. This person does not want you to go, okay? Something about a third party here. And this person is not someone to fight. The person you're asking about, they do not want to get involved with third parties, my loves. A lot of you, they want you to make a decision, okay? For others, okay? There's an earth element here. They may not be ready to give you or surrender um, the power of water and air, which is what they need to fall in love right now. Okay, please work with Garnet. Very loving rituals during the next full moon and also the next new moon, my loves. Okay, I absolutely love you. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.